Sheikh Raya, Raya Al Salahi there. Right, we'll have more from Raya uh, shortly. Now, the campaign group Occupy London will today begin a week of action across the capital against what they say is corruption of their democracy by several men that run much of the UK's media. Occupy the media billionaires will start with a protest outside Rupert Murdoch's new HQ in London Bridge. Well, Donica McCarthy is involved and joins us now to explain more. W what's going to happen this afternoon? Um, today we're starting a week-long protest outside Rupert Murdoch's headquarters mm. at London Bridge, the, the mini short. Uh, we're there to protest against the five media billionaires who actually own most of Britain's press. No matter what you watch, listen to or, or read in Britain today is owned by these five extremist right-wingers and we think that's a real threat to our democracy. Okay, what makes you say that they're extremists? Um, because their, their views on things like climate change, on war, on, on um, poverty, uh, are reflect a tiny uh, elite. <clears throat> and if you want a proper press, a proper democracy, you need an informed electorate. If you have only the information coming from one tiny section of society, you don't have a diverse press, you don't have democracy. Yep. These are essentially papers we're talking about here, uh, to some <clears throat> extent. And the, you, you, we have the likes of the BBC, we have uh, ITN as well, we have uh, other members of the press which, as far as I'm aware, aren't influenced by, by these men. 80% 80% of the newspapers sold every day are owned by those five people. They also also own shares in, in TV stations, radio stations, the news agencies, the book companies, the cinema companies. Almost everything we watch, listen or read is affected by these people. And even the BBC is affected because the producers open the papers every morning and they take the stories from them and then they have the news stories about those. So even the BBC is hugely affected by these five right-wingers. Okay, what would you like to see? Would you like to see uh, these men not in power? Yeah, we've asked Ofcom. Part of we, we are launching tomorrow uh, uh, an occupied charter for a free and democratic press. As part of that, we're asking Ofcom to declare those people who have been responsible for hacking crimes, for war crimes, for crimes against the environment, to be declared people not suitable to be owning huge chunks of Britain's press and then we want the press to be diverse. We want it to reflect everybody's points of view, not just one section of society. Do you think government, to some extent, the select <coughs> committees around these areas, which have done huge investigations into, say, the hacking scandal, they're not doing their job? You know, there's been no evidence to suggest that some of these men have been linked to that, despite the fact that their papers may have been involved in it. Well, the, if, you, if you actually own a company and a significant chunks of your employees have been carrying out criminal activities, you should hold res you are not a fit person to be responsible for chunks of Britain's press. And and what we actually believe is that um, today we are actually going to hand in a, an arrest warrant for Rupert Murdoch and during the week we'll set out the case against these five billionaires and on Saturday morning we will have the people's trial of Rupert Murdoch. OK, uh, Donica McCarthy there from the Occupy movement, thank you for joining us. Uh, now. Um, uh, Let's uh, take a short break now, but still to come this morning, the latest head